Hey guys, from this month's BBC Good Food magazine, I just couldn't resist these Korean hot dogs because I love Korean food and I love the Korean attitude towards food. You can check out my accompanying blog post in the description below to find out more about why Korean food is so cool and inspiring. But to celebrate this, I have someone to help me with this video. It's the Snapchat hot dog. So he's not so good for hands-on help, but he'll cheer on the background and lend his support and enthusiasm. For this recipe, you're going to need some kimchi, which is Korean spicy, salty, fermented cabbage. I made this six months ago. You can find the recipe in the description below if you'd like to try it yourself, or you could just buy it in any good Asian supermarket. Making it at home is a bit of a process, but I think it's totally worth it. Now, first off, take a carrot and peel it. Then the recipe says to peel it into long, thin ribbons to garnish the hot dogs, but I prefer to chop it into julienne matchsticks then transfer it to a bowl, add half a teaspoon of fine salt, then toss it up. This will cause the water to leach out of it, giving it a softer texture, as well as adding flavour. Just set it aside so you can crack on with the rest of the ingredients. You'll also need some toasted sesame seeds. I did these the other day. Just add some seeds to a dry frying pan over a high heat and toast until they start to colour. Now, this isn't in the recipe, so leave it out if you want, but I'm going to chop up a uh, spring onion because Koreans always garnish their food with spring onions. They just love them. Just leave out the white part. Now take a scales and a bowl and re-zero to get an accurate measurement for the kimchi. You need about 120 grams of it, but 134 grams is fine too. Now you need to chop it up, and I think the best way of doing this is with the scissors. Just chop it up right in the bowl. You won't make any mess, you won't have the kimchi juice going everywhere on the chopping board. And this is actually what Koreans do as well a lot of the time. Then set it aside until you're assembling the hot dogs. Now take a jug or a bowl to mix up the spicy sauce to drizzle over the hot dogs. First for this you'll need three good tablespoons of mayonnaise, then about half a teaspoon of honey, a splash of rice wine vinegar, that was probably a little bit too much. Now some gochujang, which is Korean red chili paste, and it's so delicious, it's the nicest hot sauce in the world, I think. You'll need one to one and a half tablespoons of this. It is really hot though, so be careful. I'm just using one tablespoon. I switch to a fork here or a mini whisk to beat all this up and make sure that it's a nice, smooth, even consistency. Then I pour it into this container just to make it a little bit easier and prettier to drizzle over the hot dogs in the end, but you don't have to do that at all. Now just cook the hot dogs according to the packet instructions. For me that was cooking them in hot but not boiling water for 5 minutes. During which time I was joined by someone who was mad keen to meet his Korean cousins. So when they're done just take them off the heat and let them drain and dry. Then just open up the buns and place a hot dog into each. Then divide the kimchi between them, drizzle over the spicy sauce. Add the now drained carrot or the carrot ribbons if you're using them. Sprinkle over the toasted sesame seeds and spring onion and dig in. These really are so delicious and much healthier than regular hot dogs too with the raw carrot and kimchi which is loaded with good bacteria which are really beneficial to gut health. Thanks really for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, if you did be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below, in the description you'll find links to my social media accounts if you want to check me out over there, as well as the link to my kimchi video if you want to give homemade kimchi a go yourself, and the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.